This video is brought to you by Sayerite. Visit Sayerite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we will use the press and snap tool to punch a hole in fabric assemblies. Then we will install a spur and a plain washer grommet. Before a spur or plain washer grommet can be installed in a fabric, a hole needs to be made to accept the male portion of the grommet. We will use the press and snap tool with a hole cutter die to accomplish this task. The dies are inserted onto the tool as shown here. Once installed, we will punch a hole through this three layer marine grade sunbrella fabric assembly simply by positioning the dies over the desired location and squeezing the lever of the tool. Use the thumb screw on the end of the tool for adjustment of pressure depending on the thickness of your fabric assembly. Once the hole is made, we can now install the grommet. For this demonstration, we will first use the number one spur grommet die for the press and snap tool. After the dies are installed on the tool, we are ready to set the number one spur grommet. To install the grommet, place the male portion through the hole that has already been installed in the fabric. Typically, the number two hole cutter die works best for the installation of the number one spur grommet. Then take the female portion of the grommet, this portion has the teeth, and place it over the male portion on top of the fabric. Take special note of how the press and snap tool is being held. The male portion of the die must be inserted as shown or the installation will not be successful. Now simply press the lever until a firm and solid setting of the grommet is felt. If more or less pressure is needed, simply use the thumb screw for adjustment. If the grommet is still not set firmly enough, use the tool again and tighten down the thumb screw more. This grommet is installed beautifully. Next, we will use the number one plain grommet die for the press and snap tool. This die comes with the tool. But first, we need to punch a hole. We're going to use the number one hole cutter here. This hole cutter does not come with the tool. It is sold separately. Here is the number one plain grommet die that comes standard with the purchase of the press and snap tool. A plain washer grommet is best for light duty applications. For medium to heavy duty applications, Sayerite recommends using a spur grommet instead. Installation is done exactly the same way as the spur grommet you saw earlier. Male grommet goes through the hole and the female washer goes on top of that. Notice the female washer does not have teeth and its metal is thinner than the spur grommet seen earlier. For your reference, a plain grommet die will not set a spur grommet and a spur grommet die will not set a plain grommet. You must use the appropriate die and grommet combination. However, when working with spur grommets, I always like to use a hole cutter one size larger for easier installation. That's not the case for a plain or washer grommet. The press and snap tool comes with dies for setting snaps and the number one plain grommet. Sold separately are the hole cutter dies and other grommet dies. For more information and to purchase yours, visit Zaharite.com.